Hey there, it is Chanel here from The Heart and Soul with our first weekly oracle card reading of 2022. I hope you checked out the year reading. It is up there on social media and on YouTube. To get the full year, head over to YouTube. It's got the playlist there for the whole year to check out to see what's happening. To me, it's going to be a really magical year of connection. Um, being present and staying deeply connected to ourselves is so important over the course of this next year. But go and check it out for yourself and see what you think. Uh, for this week's reading, you're a little bit of spiritual guidance to help you get through the energy of this week. Uh, I was drawn to the Oracle of the Seven Energies card deck, which is one that's related to the chakras by Colette Baron reed and picking three cards for the energy of this week to see what is happening. That's card number one. And card number two. Let's shuffle just a tiny bit more. And card number three. Okay, let's see what they have to say. Card number one, the uncharted sea. Oh, the one thing that really came up in this, uh, the, the year reading was this place of, um, kind of a new way of being. And they're saying it's uncharted waters and it's, um, a calm sea. So feel free to jump in the boat and go for a ride. They're saying that there's all these things, these lessons you've been learning in 2021, all these big things. And it goes back to 2020 and 2019 and even 2018, they're saying. We've had so many years where we've had this evolution of spirit, this deepening of connection and this real desire even globally for community and deep connections and things being authentic and truthful and soulful and equality and um, integrity. All those things are coming together and we really want to be as one as the universe is meant to be. And this year we're really moving into that. They're giving us a little bit of taste of that energy this month, of this soulfulness, this communion, this connection. And they're inviting you to kind of slow down and feel that this week. We, um, it, it's often that first week after the new year, we're all gung-ho about those resolutions and that sort of stuff. But they're saying, instead, can you just be present in you and allow your body and your soul to rest a little bit and really feel where you are in this moment? Um, I did a yoga nidra on New Year's Day for the new year and it is up on YouTube um, and on my social media if you want to check that out if you need a deep rest. It's a beautiful guided meditation and the whole purpose was to really create this sense of healing and um, completion from the last year and planting the seeds for the new year. So as I digress, back to card number two and it is a tall tale. Um, this card is interesting. It's got what looks like a Pinocchio on it and a top hat like a magician. And it feels like there's fireworks in behind. Um, and it's a puppet as well. Beware of the people who want to control you. Beware of the situations that feel... out of alignment, that there are people and things, uh, situations, experiences, and that that are going to try to shift you and to pull you out of this new way of being, um, to test you to make sure that's where you really want to be, but also this place of um, just bringing more awareness to where you actually want to be. Sometimes it's less about actually knowing where it is we want to go and more about what, in, what we don't want anymore. And that's what this card is asking us. Um, see between, behind the smoke. Um, you know, they're saying smoke and mirrors and that sort of stuff. And we're really like breaking that down right now. So don't fall into the trap of that this week as it feels like there will be kind of that, um, 
uh, oh, I can't think of the name in the the guy in Pinocchio, the bad guy. But anyways, um, it feels like there's somebody like that that will kind of like draw you in, that he pulls in Pinocchio and it encourages him to come to the island and gamble and smoke and drink and the next thing you know, they're all donkeys. Um, so be just be mindful of those that are steering you in the wrong direction or coming at you without um, clear intentions, without integrity. Okay, card number three. <laughs> Mm, spirit of gratitude. I like this. <clears throat> These first and last cards kind of go together a little bit there in the sense that um, the, the gratitude this year is a big part of also this kind of feeling. It's about focusing on the things that we have versus the things that we don't have. Um, being aware of where we already are. Take it, January for me is always that place where it's time to reflect back over the past year and see how far you've actually come. Sometimes it's astounding when you actually turn around and look. We're always so focused on the tunnel vision, on the end of the tunnel, about the finish line, but Sometimes we really need to acknowledge how far we've actually come. They're saying, be grateful this week. Stand in that place of gratitude for the places that you have been, the experiences that you have had, the people that you have met, and all of that, how it sums up and it is part of you. Be grateful for standing in your own power and really acknowledging who you are because I feel like there's so much of that happening right now. There's so many people that are just really standing in this place of authenticity and power and just really knowing where they are and where they want to go. And it's so amazing to to witness, so humbling to be a part of, to see this need and this desire to transform, to become better versions of ourselves, to walk in this heart-centered way, to support one another and to help. Um, it, it's just simply beautiful. Um, see that over this week and really feel that. Take some time for maybe some gratitude journaling as that will move mountains as well. Again, when we focus on what we have and have gratitude for that, it brings more of the same versus focusing on the things that we don't have. Um, one of my followers today, who's a friend, posted um, for the challenge. She said, I imagined the snow falling today was actually money falling from the sky. And I was like, ah, oh, I love it. It's just this abundance feeling that she was welcoming it in. Instead of being grumpy about the snow that there was too much of on the road, she imagined it as something, you know, beautiful and connected to her and welcomed it, which was great. It wasn't about not enough money. It was just about raining down money and abundance and love. So, yeah. Um... Thank you. Thank you for being here and being a part of my journey and being a part of these spirit guide readings every week. I feel so blessed to be able to channel these messages for all of you um, and have been here for so long when I go back and look at the years of day weekly oracle card readings. It's quite incredible. Again, check out that 2022 reading. Also, if you're interested in manifesting your dream year, I am doing an Instagram challenge right now. Check it out in reels and it'll be posted in stories every day. Uh, we're on day three today. Um, and every day I'm just giving you something else to help you work towards manifesting your dream year. So join me over on From the Heart and Soul on Instagram and join into that challenge. Again, it's in the reels. Um, also, I have a few more day planners and creating your dreams workbooks left. If anybody's interested, feel free to DM me. Um, free pickup in the Hamilton area. And uh, also I can ship out as well. They're not too much to send. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for being a part of the first reading of 2022. Have uh, an amazing week from my heart and soul to yours.